It's Megan. Happy Monday, guys, and it's week 11. This is so exciting. This is probably my favorite week of all the weeks that we go through this challenge. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I started off as a Beachbody customer, a long-time Beachbody customer, and um, did my own challenge group last year. Um, I was invited by somebody from Facebook, and the rest is history. Um, I just excelled in the group. I loved the Beachbody products to begin with, so giving me the accountability and support from the challenge group was just kind of the icing on the cake, if you will. Um, the rest, as I said, is history from there. So, um, my favorite week, and the reason why this is my favorite week, is because you've gotten to a point where you're starting to see some real results. You're also starting to see a lot of changes inside, as well as physically on the outside. People are starting to definitely say stuff by now. Maybe they even asked you, tell me what you're doing, because I need to do that too. Um, the other reason I like this week is because now is when I start to think about my next 90-day uh, goal. So for me, the easiest way for me to be successful is for me to choose small goals at a time, 60 days, 90 days, depending on the program, depending on my challenge, depending on where I'm at with my challenge. Um, so I'm right along there with you guys. I have my own personal goals that I'm trying to achieve um, right along with you guys while you're trying to achieve your goals. So I will first probably, um, you know, kind of take a peek at um, how far I've come, where I've come, what the last 90 days did for me, um, how did my program go, um, how did um, I do? Did I lose more weight? Was that my goal this this last round? Um, you know, looking at um, from a, from a workout standpoint, a physical standpoint, where I'm at with my exercise program. Did I like it? Do I want to do it again? Um, did I not you know get far enough so I want to do another 90 days of this? Um, the other possibility might be um, I'm really missing uh, an, a program that I was doing previous so I might take the two and create like a crazy hybrid and do both programs um, for the next 90 days and set another goal for myself. Um, I think the other thing to assess is basically um, on your eating too. Um, so I will look at how did that meal plan work for me or um, am I, did I find a new book that I'm going to be reading and I'm going to need, need to make some tweaks. Um, maybe there's some things that I'm starting to give up because I really want to see those results. Um, you know, and it's all going to depend and vary where, based on where you guys are with your own personal goals. So you could maybe just be starting out and um, you know, really struggling with, you know, just trying to maintain calories. Or maybe you're um, at the other end of the spectrum and you're looking to get into a weight training program where you really have to try to increase your protein and really pay attention to some of those things. So um, everybody's at kind of a different um, area, obviously. So, but the best thing to do at this point is just to assess where you've been, what you've been doing, what's been working, what's been not working. I think you also can tell. It, with your own body what's working and what's not working and make those adjustments um, and I'll, obviously I'm here to help you too so if you have any questions or you need some specific advice you know definitely message me and let me know um, I think that um, another big thing thinking about the next 90 days um, no uh, three months from now. Where do you want to be three months from now? Is three months from now the summer? Is three months from now the winter? Um, is there an event in your life coming up? Where is three months from now? 90 days for you. And you know, what's your next goal at the end of 90 days? Um, is your goal to continue with weight loss or have you reached a point where you're ready for something else? Are you training for a 5K? Are you um, trying to um, reach a goal of being you know, in a fitness competition or a bikini competition? Or maybe you still have to reach that um, 30 pounds or 40 pounds or 50 pounds. No matter where you are in the spectrum, you need to look at where you want to be in those little increments. Um, I really feel like doing the short little stages in your life is going to help you and also to stay on track, to stay focused and not look at it like, oh, I've got 100 pounds to lose or, oh, I've got 50 pounds to lose. It can definitely be overwhelming. I agree. I was there. It, I got a lot further and it's lasted me a lot longer by taking it in little baby steps. Um, 
And then the third thing that I'll do is I'll set myself a plan. So sometimes I'll already know the next program I want to try. If Beachbody has come out with something new that really looks cool and exciting and fun, then you know that's always something that piques my interest. I'm always looking for something different, something new. Um, I definitely have my favorites, so I know what works well for me and what doesn't. Um, but I think, again, that's definitely a personal preference. Um, and um, so taking a look at um, setting up a new program, um, you know, getting it ordered on time, making sure the, tar the start date is on, on time, um, and, um, you know, kind of getting informed about the program, what it's going to do for you, what you need it to do for you based on your next 90-day goal. Um, you know, looking back again, assessing where you've come, where you're going, and that kind of thing. Um, so um, I think that the best part about doing any sort of these programs through Beachbody is that it comes with the calendar and the food all spelled out for you. So you pretty much just have to, you know, decide and commit to something, figure out what it is that you need to do f to accomplish that goal, and then it's like a no-brainer. I hang up my calendar on the wall, and every day on, for the 90 days, I know what I'm doing. When I get up in the morning, I put on my clothes, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm eating, um, you know, it's just laid out for me. Um, that I've pre-planned it. Um, and then, you know, the last thing, number four for me, is um, joining or starting my own challenge group, um, my next 90-day challenge group. So for me, what really just, you know, puts the icing on the cake, again, for me, is the accountability and the support of you guys. I know that I can get started with my next group, um, and uh, we'll be on track for 90 days, holding each other accountable, supporting each other along the way. We've all got the same goal in mind, whether it's 10, 20, 30, 100 pounds. We're all in that same mindset. We're all working hard towards the same goal. Um, so, you know, those are the types of things that keep me motivated. You and seeing you guys get the results and seeing you stay focused and seeing you just become the next phase in your life, the next person that you can become based on um, our programs and our challenge groups. Um, so I'm so excited. Uh, what did I say it was? Week 11? How exciting. I'm, I'm so excited. Like next um, 20 days here is going to be crucial. We'll um, stay focused, you know, push your, put your head down, push, 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 and, um, you know, take things to the next level.